Okay, I'm working on this uh, frame for the laser cutter and so I'm just tapping some holes. This is a 8mm tap. So we tap eight million holes. Hey guys, so here's my CNC build so far, and it's it's got uh, circulating ball um, linear drives, linear or linear guides, and so it's 12 inches by. 30 almost 31 inches and you know this and then I've got oh let's see how much V I have here. Well, five and a half inches of Z of Z travel. So so that's what I've got done so far. I still have the the ball screws to finish up, motors, wiring, all that stuff. So it's coming along though, and this is what I got done so far. Thanks. Okay, so I've been working on the the lead screw part of the CNC machine, and I have the X and the Y axes done except for the motors and I'll be working on the Z axis next. Um, so I just made a, a simple flat plate bracket with a ball bearing um, for this end of the lead screw and then the other end of the lead screw will have a a coupling that attaches to the motor. I don't have the motors yet, they're on order, but when they come then I'll be able to attach those. Underneath there's a, a metal bracket that I made and the, the lead screw insert is brass and so that was um, in, machined and installed into the, the brackets that I made. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe hold that up closer. So 
Um, the next thing I need to do is the, the Z um, lead screw. It's not in yet. Um, I did do a, the lead screws have um, 16 threads per inch on the lead screw so um, I did some calculations that works out to be 185 inches per minute or 15 feet per minute 15.62 feet per minute of travel at that's at 3000 rpm the speed of the max speed of the motors so uh, we'll get to work on the Z um, Z lead screw so um, I made a machine up a bracket for the bottom of the lead screw and has a the ball bearing will will fit into that bracket and it needs to be attached here so I need to get that attached and then cut off the lead screw to the proper length for the coupling it to the motor. So that's what I'll start working on now. So figure out the the distance uh, I drill these holes at quarter inch from the edge so I'll just set that up on my caliper and and just put it here and scribe a line my center line for my to drill my holes. I've already countersunk them and I'm going to use these flathead screws to attach this bracket. So, so you need to find a drill bit small enough. the hole. Okay, so I have uh, one of these two holes tapped, the top one, and these are 
fairly small there, 632. I, I've been using metric screws on most of this project, but I needed some flathead screws because of the um, clearance, some clearance issues that I might have with the, this bracket. So the only flathead screws I had were 632. So I'm tapping this for 632. So um, you've maybe seen me in earlier in the project where I used the drill to to tap, and of course you always want to back off the tap after um, some forward motion of the tap to clear out those chips. And the other thing is, you know, put a little tap magic tapping fluid on the on the tap to to get it all lubed up. So we're going to tap this bottom hole. So you need to get it started. Takes a little bit of pressure to get the get the hole started. Still slipping on there now. Okay, there we go. Now we're started. So that always go forward a little bit. You can kind of feel, get a feel for it. You know, if it feels too hard, don't go forward anymore. Start backing it out because you don't want to break the these smaller taps have more of a tendency to break so you can kind of feel and then back it off and then go forward a little bit go ahead and then back it off clear those chips out there's some place you know I, I don't know maybe it's not perfectly straight but there's some places where it seems to go pretty smoothly and then then there are places where you feel more resistance, so so just you know don't keep putting too much forward pressure on it if if there's lots of resistance you don't want to break the tap off in there. Okay, I think we're probably we probably tapped it deep enough for for the screws we have. So let's just uh, let's just count how many how many threads we have as we take it out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm putting some pressure out as I back it off so I can feel when the last thread goes. So five, six, seven, yeah about seven, seven threads. So that should be plenty for the, for these screws. So we can uh, take our bracket and Line it up here. Let's see. What I first want to do is um, deburr this bottom hole to lead in a little bit. So remove those burrs off of there. Um, oh, by the way, they, I do have a, a deburring tool and. This tool has a, a sharp edge, this part pivots, but you can use this on the on the all the edges of uh, metal that were machined. So I machined this on my mill um, at my shop and and then I already deburred all the edges of this. So this is to hold the bottom bearing. So anyway. Got one of our flathead screws in there. We'll just line it up with the, our hole. So 
So I'm going to leave that loose a little bit until I get the second screw started. of the Z lead screw. Okay, so uh, I've been working on the Z um, uh, the bearing mount is finished and I got the um, this plate drilled and mounted on there and um, the, the brass um, not for the lead screw, it's mounted on the back side of this plate, and so I just need to figure out the length of this to cut off and attach the motor. And of course, I have to attach the motor on all three axes. <laughs> Once I get the motors, they're on their way, but uh, not here yet. So anyway, that's uh, where we are right now, and. Still have more to go, but it's coming along.